Dude, if I do the little, like, <laughs> like <laughs> he's gone. The, the story is gone. Like. <laughs> morning here in Sunbar. We are headed out from the Airbnb. This Airbnb was phenomenal. Honestly, it couldn't have gotten any better. Itamar was like, I could live here. But, <laughs> but we're gonna head out, pack up the car, go get some coffee, tour one more loop around downtown in the walking street, and then we're going to head off to, where are we going, Chris? Zrenyani. Zrenyani. I don't think walking around this town could get any get old anytime soon. Like it is picture perfect beautiful. Today it's the Buddha bar. I don't really have uh, any drinks in mind, but I am hungry. So they got breakfast, lunch, dinner. They do have everything here though. They got omelets too. Mexican man. omelets, Asian burgers, burgers, everything you can imagine. The Buddha bar is right across from the city hall. It's like right on the right hand side. You always gotta go with what the locals suggest and what the restaurant you, owner bro. or waiter suggests because they always know the best thing on the menu. Instant coffees we've been having in the morning are good, but you need like three of them to really equal like a coffee. So every time we come out in the morning, we always try and get like a espresso, cappuccino, latte or something. Thank and you. sausage. Thank you, bro. Enjoy. Oh my God. There's no way I'm going to be able to finish this. Bacon, Kymac, some sort of like hot dog sausage, feta cheese, tomatoes, mushrooms, and french fries with four eggs. Ooh. I'm gonna be full. I think Itamar is gonna drive. I'll, tell, I'll take a nap in the back. They take Serbian and like the Serbian delicacies like Kymac and they put it with the English breakfast. There's just something about an American breakfast that just stuffs you and fills you up service at that place was absolutely incredible honestly probably one of the best places service wise that i've seen the entire time here 11 out of 10 would recommend to a friend yeah buddha bar if you're coming here to some bar do not miss it Best parts about traveling by car, by rental cars, not only do you get to see these small little villages along the way, but you get to stop whenever you want. just drove by a concentration camp. I had never been in this area of the world and seen anything like that. I thought it was just like a prison because in the US you have like the watchtowers and it was fenced in. And then I was like, Chris, what is that? And there was like 15 or 20 buildings in the middle of a field with a fence around it, guard towers and like little stands around each building. And Chris had actually said it was a concentration camp. It's, it's something significant to see for this area of the world around here in the country. So. This is why I love exploring and seeing stuff with friends and especially other creators, because like we were just driving down the road and saw this a random abandoned building and we're about to just go explore it and see what's in this. This building looks huge. It's like a compound. They're all open and abandoned. Now it definitely looks like these buildings are absolutely falling apart. They have been a little destroyed. Or there was an earthquake not that long ago in Croatia that hit parts of Serbia. Ooh. Dude. <laughs> what? 
So when you look on a map and you zoom in, it says there's a medical center here, but to be 100% honest, I'm not sure if there, this is a medical center. I don't know if I believe it. Now, when you are exploring places like this, you need to be very careful because of things like that. This is definitely not something you want to walk out on. It's just very old structure with the wood. And I don't know if I really would trust going out there at all. Ooh, be careful. Make sure you watch where you step. Looks like somebody was sleeping here at one point in time. So this town is actually called Bessage. We just stopped at the gas station. And when we asked the guy at the gas station where to go to get some coffee and food, he said, turn left. And when we turned left, this giant old, what seems to be medical center was on the right hand side. You can't drive by something like this and not explore it. Uh, <laughs> you said there's a door? Yeah. Man. No way. Is there stairs? How say this in English? That's a door. There's a ladder. Ladder? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's so dark. Yeah, yeah. All right, this is what's happening. You to be safe. This is more important. Oh. Dude. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> All right. You done? Absolutely. Let's go. I didn't come up this far. Oh, this is like a bird's nest in here, though, so it kind of stinks. It smells like poop. This is uh, very sketchy. We made it, guys. We made it, guys. We made it. I don't know if we were supposed to be up here. This is really scary, actually. When life hands you a ladder and a tower, you climb it. Say hi, Chris. Can you see him? Say hi. In the distance I can see one, two, three, four, five churches all within one distance. I mean I see the horizon. It is gorgeous. Wow, that was absolutely terrifying. I am scared of heights. I knew Chris wouldn't go up there because Chris is deathly scared I'm of heights. I'm scared of heights. I am not going He's up. airborne and he won't go up there. He's scared of heights. Ethamar went up with me. Ethamar was actually the one that was like, you want to go up? I was like, yeah, you know, I'm not going to let anybody go up by themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks God that I'm alive. <laughs> Dude, Jimmy is next level. He's just sit down on the roof and he told me, Ita, catch my, my, my pen. And I was like, what? <laughs> okay, I'm catching the the pen, and then I was like, dude, if I do the little, like, <laughs> like <laughs> he's gone. The, the story is gone, like, everything gone. <laughs> everything we worked so hard for is gone. Yeah. Jimmy, gone. <laughs> so the higher you go, if you go up here, you can see that these boards are where the roof was, and it used to be a, another level, but no. Chris is so scared right now. He's, he's holding the wall for his life, trying to make sure he doesn't fall through. You're good, run. <laughs> Bro, I get so scared of heights, man. Just one more floor so you can take this picture for me. <laughs> what he'll do for my Instagram picture. He's really scared. He's really. Man, <laughs> I get scared of heights, man. Come on, we go. <laughs> what? It's. Oh, I thought it was XXXL. Oh, so these XXXL. Are the these are tags, are tags from clothes. clothes. This was definitely a factory then. Yeah. Wow, good eye, Jim. This was definitely a factory to make clothes because there's clothing tags here, the little plastic things that hold the tags on. And then they got a whole thing of yarn or like a 
clothing tags that you stitch on. 100% cotton, XXXL. That's a big boy. We planned on stopping in this town, not only going to a coffee shop, getting some food, kind of exploring. We ended up spending two hours at that abandoned factory, and now we are starving. So hungry, so we stopped. There seems to be S seems to be some sort of uh, restaurant here. I, I don't know if you can eat inside, if you, if it's to-go window. I've never seen anything like this, but that is a big piece of meat. Hello. Hello. Dabar dan. Dabar dan. Can I get chicken? Oh, yeah, Nata. No, pileta? P, P. P, I don't P, 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 P. P, P? Ne, P, P. P, P, we, we. Okay, okay, that's. <laughs> Merci. What is that? Pizza Vizza? <laughs> yes, Kavitza? Yes, Kavitza? Yes, Kavitza. Okay. Hey. Giros? 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 Nemo Giros? Nemo Giros? Nemo Giros? Chicken? Kokoreku! Fuck, fuck, Oh my god! This no guy's chicken. Alright, I'm done for the. <laughs> the <book>. <laughs> <laughs> This. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Kick it. Three. 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 He literally had to act like a bird because none of us know how to say chicken. <laughs> we don't know how to say chicken. So <laughs> it's charades and it's beautiful and it's fun. Man, it looks nice. It looks good and it's really warm outside. Oh. Uh, Picante. Same, picante. Picante. Mala. Mayonesa. Urnebes. This is how we do it, guys. This is how we do it. If you don't know how to, to oh. say chicken in every language in the world, so you need to say what chicken did. So they added cucuricu. <laughs> and then the people that making the food, they understand you. So even if it's so funny or something like this, you're until get your food. So if you want beef, what do you do? Moo. <laughs> Moo. If you want pig, what do you do? Like, <laughs> it's nice little small town vibes. There's a lot of different little shops, like um, shoe shops, clothing shops. They have a maxi. This restaurant is actually connected to the little food place that they're cooking right outside. So that's really cool. It's not like a in the back kitchen. Yeah, it's, like not a, it. it's not an in the back it's kitchen like they normally have. Dude, it's so dope how they make all the meat over here. Yeah. This is actually very typical in Serbia though. There'll be a, a little shack where they actually make all the meat and the food. And then they have like an establishment attached to it. And in here, yo, it looks really, really cool. This they is have like nice super fancy. Yeah, but it's cool how they have like, just like a tiny little pu a pub inside yeah. there. And the food out here. And then It's combined. nice because if you want to just like get a drive-by, instead of having like, this is like an old school drive-through. Like they slide the window, you can order your food, they put it out the window and you're good. But if you want the restaurant feel, they have that as well. Really nice upscale restaurant where they can take their time, have some drinks, like just relax. Cheers guys. Cheers. Salut. Honestly, I've never had it with chicken, but I'm really excited to try this. So it's kind of like a pescovizza, right? But it has chicken, so it's like a burger. Like a chicken burger with lettuce, tomato, onion, uh, mayonnaise, picante sauce. So excited. The chicken breasts are super thin, so they're cooked perfect. They're not too dry, they're moist. Between the flavors of all the different ingredients, it is absolutely delicious. It's kind of like a chicken burger. But huge, like look at that. Mm -hmm. Massive chicken burger. Like look at Chris. That's the size of your head, dude. Incredible and super affordable. So these are all over here in Serbia. So you have the option to get this beef, pork, so good, so worth it. It's like once you pick it up, you can't put it down. Mm. Now I'm so full. So unbelievably full. It was so good. Quick stop, but now I'm just tired. One beer, full belly, 45 minute drive to go. And just like that, we have made it. Now, this is actually a hotel. Use booking.com. So it's right on the main walking street, which is super nice for us because we have a private parking, parking lot. We can park our car in and walk the entire city. She says it's very small, but hopefully there's a lot to do here. I'm really excited to explore here and we will show you guys everything first thing in the morning. 
So I hope you guys have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow.